In my many years on YouTube, I have had on occasion been insulted, had my honor besmirched, my dignity shamed. But never more than with the odd case of Del Monte corn. You may or may not know this, but I like Del Monte corn. Or at least, I did. Until I professed my profound love for their corn and asked for a humble sponsorship, of which they refused to give me. Why, I ask? I don't know. It makes no sense. But I am here to rectify what has been wronged. And you may ask, what has been wronged? Because Del Monte has reached out to me. Oh yes, they asked for my address and they said that they were going to send me a gift. And I thought, wow, they need to send me a big fat check, hopefully a comically oversized one, for all the promotion that I have done for them over the months. All the promotional material of which has thus been deleted. I will give you so much if you can guess what they gave to me as a gift. It makes the gifts from Sour Patch Kid look like boons. Big bouncy boons. Smash the like button if you think you know what Del Monte Corn gave to me. I will offer you guys a free subscription to my channel where you will be updated of any video that I post at any time and an including a free bell with that if you can guess what they sent to me. <laughs> the present that they deemed worthy for me, Markiplier, the one who was professing his love to all the heavens for their corn was 24 cans of corn. They didn't even send a letter. They literally sent me a box of corn. There was a letter? Where was the letter? Well, okay, they didn't send a letter. If they did send a letter, it was so insulting that I didn't keep it. And, and you can see, I tried to eat the corn. I tried to be happy about it. I tried to go for it with a smile on my face, but I only got two cans in and then suddenly sadness overtook me. You think you can find it? I think it's in here. No, yes, here it is. Oh. No, remember, because we got this in the mail before the corn. Remember, we got oh, this in the mail before the corn. Oh, right. Oh my God, I forgot about that. Breaking news bulletin. I forgot about that important detail. So, before this arrived, before this magical gift arrived, this blessing of corn, this $10 worth of corn came in the mail, I received a letter. Dear Markiplier, it doesn't say Dear Markiplier, but I'm just assuming that they wanted to be polite, which is a bold assumption. Markiplier. Del Monte Foods would like to thank you for your unwavering support of the canned whole kernel corn. We've seen the videos, the memes, and we've chuckled. Notice they didn't laugh. Your search for thick water led you to Del Monte somehow, and we sincerely appreciate your endorsements for our brand. In return for your support, we are gifting you these cans of corn. You can use them however you please, but we provided some recipes for you to test out. Now imagine my surprise when I got this letter and there were no cans of corn to be found. What a strange letter to get. Was this a threat? Were they going to bombard my house with corn? Where was this corn coming from? And when the corn finally arrived, without a check, and no contract to sign for a long-term two-year deal of exclusivity to Del Monte brand corn. Imagine my surprise when they thought so little of me that they thought I couldn't afford 24 cans of corn. It costs more to ship that than it would have cost me to buy that. And the recipes that they got here is um, Southwest Garden Sloppy Joes. Who puts corn in Sloppy Joes? Two minute corn salsa. I don't like corn in my salsa. And a frittata. Do I look like the kind of person that can make a frittata or even knows what a frittata is? What is a frittata? Okay, whatever, it doesn't matter. Look, this is an insult and I will not stand for it. I have stand Del Monte for months. And, and all in my life I've stand Del Monte, but it is time to understand that my love will never be reciprocated in the monetary form that it deserves to be reciprocated. But I know of one other, one big green hearted other. I don't have it here with me, I gotta go get it. Get out here, stupid corn. 
I realized I never liked Del Monte. There was always something about it, you know, the corn just didn't taste right, didn't taste fresh, you know what I mean? It wasn't quite like it was picked off of the tree, you know? I just felt like it was a little over-processed. A little too long steeped in the water. Well, there's another. Oh yes, there's another. And he is jolly. And he's big. He is the Jolly Green Giant! That's right, I'm all about green beans now. Cause let me tell you something, something about corn water, it's too sweet. Why not just drink a soda? Which isn't good for you, huh? Why not slug down some Sour Patch Kids, which are just pure sugar? And that's not good for anybody. If you want pure nutrition, you have to get the deliciousness that is green giant green beans. And, and this is actually a fact about my childhood. When it came down to getting vegetables for, you know, as the side dish for your meat and two veggies, we would have some meat and then we would add corn and green beans. And let me tell you something. The corn might've been okay, but the green beans was where the real nutrition came from. And let me tell you something about the green giant. He's got big, juicy green beans. If there's something that I can say with confidence, it's that I, Markiplier, love Jolly Green Giant's green beans. That is much more palatable than Del Monte corn. Because I think if you remember, I mean the archival footage has long been deleted, but I think if you remember, if you think back to me trying Del Monte corn, I had to choke that down. It wasn't good at all. But this goes down smooth. I could drink that all day. Low calorie and filling and chock full of vitamins and minerals. Just for you. Picked right off of the Jolly Greens Giants Beanstalk. And now that I'm thinking about it, I'm pretty sure it wasn't Del Monte that was there throughout my entire childhood. <laughs> they wouldn't be there for anybody that needed them. It was the Jolly Green Giant. I remember being embraced in his Jolly Green arms. Jolly Green Giant. I expect a sponsorship very soon or else I like the fickle bitch that I am, will turn on you, just like I did Del Monte. But in the meantime, hey, here's a helpful tip. If you want to enjoy a nice can of green beans, why not crack some fresh ground pepper into there? I need it. That's right. You can eat the beans too. You don't just have to drink them. Do you guys think I'm joking about this? No, I'm not joking about this. This is life. This is real life right now. And this was my life. This is actually what I did when I was growing up all the time. If there was just canned vegetables, I would crack open a can. I wouldn't heat them up or anything. Just crack open the can and eat a little salt. Give that a little few tosses in there, leg it down a bit. Yeah, that's good stuff. And literally, this is what I did. Actually, this is what I still do. For in case I'm doing it. I mean, you can't prove anything. You don't know my life. I'm telling you my life. Why would I lie? I love Green Giant. You know, their green beans, just better in every way than Del Monte's green beans. I'll tell you something. Green Giant knows fresh. Del Monte knows preserved. I oh, gotta give them that. They really can make that stuff last, and they do, but Green Giant, it's always fresh. <laughs> Probably because they're flying off the shelves because everyone's buying them. If you buy yourself a can of Green Giant green beans, why don't you post it on Twitter? Tag them. Tell them maybe you should give Mark a sponsorship. I'm actually legitimately gonna finish this. <laughs> I don't know why I have the second camera set up. Maybe for the detail shots. Maybe I'll just zoom it in a lot. And quality. So you can really see that. Yeah, that's, that's the stuff. Look at that. Look at that. Now that's a Jolly Green Giant. That's a good stuff. But it doesn't end there. Jolly Green Giant also provides top quality Jolly Green Yellow Corn. Now, if you want some whole sweet kernel corn, you have to reach down for Jolly Green Giant. It is far superior. Here, I'll even compare the ingredients. Jolly Green Giant Corn, golden whole kernel corn, water and salt, literally the salt of the earth. Can't get any fresher than that. Meanwhile, Del Monte, what's over here? Huh, corn, water, and salt. Not golden, whole, kernel, 
corn. I'm not even lying about this. Let's zoom in on this shit. You know, I don't even care if it's a salesman tacket. It, it is just showmanship. Look, ingredients, focus, golden, whole kernel corn. Meanwhile, Del Monte. Look at, look at, look at this Chad Green Giant versus Virgin Del Monte. Oh, they're corn, water, and salt. Hey, yeah, we got corn in the can, I guess, a little bit. Meanwhile, Green Giant, we have golden whole kernel corn. A thing of beauty. Unbeatable in every way. Pathetic. They don't even have a mascot. And look, proud supporter of St. Jude's Children's Research Hospital. More like the golden green hero. <sighs> Quarantine's getting to me. But hey, it's always a brighter day. And there's always someone to Make fun of. Look on the bright side. There's always something to complain about. And I always do have something to complain about. And uh, frankly, this, this video isn't just about Del Monte, but I have something else to complain about. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to put hashtag ad on this because much like the Sour Patch thing, I didn't ask for the corn. They just kind of sent me the corn and the recipes, I guess, have some inherent value. But frankly, I'm not gonna put ad. Not only just because I don't think it's an ad, I wasn't paid for any of this, not yet anyway, but also because I'll just let them fight over it because if there's two different companies, I'm not really endorsing either of them, they can argue with it for themselves. Because I have another bone to pick with Sour Patch Kids because they sent me another box. And, and you know what, you know, you, know, you know, I'm thinking, what I'm thinking is, they're just constantly sending me things, hoping that I'll open it on a video and give them some glowing endorsement or give them some exposure. And I'm no fool, cause I'm gonna open it on a video, which is what they want, but I'm not gonna be happy about it. You see what I mean? It's not all press is good press, all exposure is good exposure, all, all publicity is good, all publicity is good publicity. Not here. I don't even know what's in here because I, I opened this box, saw Sour Patch Kids. This was like months ago. Amy, how long ago was this? Like three or four months probably. This was like th five or six months ago. Like a year ago. They sent me whatever this is. I think it was in celebration of opening their store. They had a Sour Patch Kids store that were, they were opening. Really bad timing for that. Kind of really unfortunate timing for them to open a physical store right as COVID struck. So I don't know what there is to endorse. I don't even know if they still have a store. I don't even know if that's a thing that's still happening. But either way, I don't endorse it straight up. I don't care what's in this box. I don't endorse it because it's about staying safe. And there's no way that Sour Patch Kids is an essential business. But let's see what's inside, shall we? Ooh, what is this? this is this recipes? Is this actually more recipes? This is this is more recipes. They sent me a they, they sent me recipes. I am not going to cook with Sour Patch Kids. There is no point at which I would be so desperate that I would cook with Sour Patch Kids. In what world would I do that? I am not going to be in your test kitchen making up new horribly cursed Sour Patch recipes for you to sell! Where's the Sour Patch cream cheese? You didn't have the balls for it. And now you're crawling back to me. Anyway, considering I am the Sour Patch review channel, maybe someday I will try these recipes, but that is very unlikely unless you guys get me that Green Giant sponsorship or leave enough likes on this video or subscribe to see it in the future. Those are the only circumstances that it will happen. What else do we have here? A cup. A tumbler, sorry. It's $13. Seems a little pricey. Doesn't even come with a straw. Wait, there's a straw hole but no straw? Those cheapskates. Oh, there it is. Okay, never mind. They're not cheap. They're pricey. They can spend all this dosh on this stuff for me, and yet they can't afford to actually pay me money for a sponsorship. You know what I mean? This, it could be the greatest sponsorship in the history of YouTube, and yet they are trying to play me. They're trying to play me. They're trying to patsy me off with these, these peasant rewards when I should be getting a big fat check with a Del Monte and a Green Giant and a Sour Patch Kid sponsorship, and yet I have nothing. I get a box. I get cans of corn in a box. 
I get recipes. I have to go buy more Sour Patch Kids. They didn't even put it in here. There's no Sour Patch Kids in here. I had to buy it. Maybe there's Sour Patch Kids in here. I haven't gotten to it. We got socks. Those are tacky. Got a shirt. That's actually not bad. I actually like that. I like the style of that. That's not bad. Is it my size? They didn't even get my size right. How can they not even ask what my size is? How impersonal do they get? There wasn't even a note with this one, by the way. There wasn't even a letter. It was just a box. They didn't even bother to ask me to try to disclose anything, so I won't. So it's their fault if I get in trouble. Why do they not even ask what my size is? I am the Sour Patch Review Channel! Amy, I'm the Sour Patch Review Channel, right? Right. Without question. I'm telling them. I'm the Sour Patch Review Channel! That was cool. Sunglasses. Well, at, f at first I was gonna be like, hey, at least they're not tacky. And then I saw the back. Blocking out the haters. Oh, they did send me Sour Patch Kids. Okay, they did send me Sour Patch Kids. Well, fool's on them because I'm on a diet. Alex is already mad at me, so I can't even eat these. But I will because I'm angry and I'm emotional and I need to compensate something and I just can't have green beans for dinner, so I gotta have something. I like the art. I'm not gonna lie, I like it. Maybe I'm never gonna get that sponsorship I deserve. I just want a partner, you know? I just want a company that's gonna treat me like I should be treated. Like the glorious YouTube god that I am. Handsome, huge dick. I'm like, come on, treat me good. Oh God, that's creepy. Oh uh, man, it's just a bag. God, you're not gonna even, it's just a bag. It's just a bag. It's, you got this nice ass box and you're just gonna shove a bag into it? What is wrong with you? It's a bag in a box. What's the point of the box then? Oh, they couldn't have come up with anything a bit more creative than just a, a shoving a bag in there. I don't know why I'm upset. I was expecting like, you know, a box of chocolate style thing where they had like individual like sections for it. Like they, they were separated by color or maybe like they, they were, it looked like New York, you know, the city scape. Like it was sectioned out like the city. That would have been cool. No, a bag. You got this nice collector's tin that you got here. Like this is really cool. The good, art's good. This is neat. It stands up on its own. No, it's got a bag in it. God damn it. What is wrong with you? Where's my check? Like this video if you think I deserve a check. Or a contract, I'd take a contract. That, that guarantees multiple checks throughout the year. Whatever, I'm done. <sighs> I'm suffering from success. <laughs> Man, it's, so, it's so hard at the top, but without sponsorships, what am I really? Do I even know who I am? Where am I going in my life? Who even am I? I don't even know anymore. But where am I gonna get this sponsorship? The one blessed by the gods. Look, some things just don't happen to good people. And even if I'm a good person, I'm not always, always gonna get what I deserve. That is delicious. Green Giant, call me. So anyway, like this video if you liked it, or if you're upset at Del Monte in my stead and Sour Patch Kids in my favor or whatever. I might make another one, depending on whether or not I get what I deserve. And heck, maybe getting what I deserve is Sour Patch assassins coming after me and trying to silence me. So if I wind up with a Sour Patch bullet in my head, you know who did it. Or a corn bullet. Not like they know where I live. <laughs> anyway, thank you everybody so much for watching. Do subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. I've got a lot more coming this way. And I promise it won't be all yelling at companies. Unless you want that kind of stuff. And then I'm going to be yelling at a lot of companies. Might not always be angry yelling. Might be yells of ecstasy and excitement. You never know. Gotta subscribe to see. So thank you. And as always, I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye! Bye. -bye. Bye.